guys, welcome back to my channel, The Art CI. My name is Medha, and today I am doing my personal interview experience for the BM program of XIMB. Now, XIMB is in Bhubaneswar, Odisha, and it takes mark for CAT, ZAT, as well as XGMT. XGMT is their own exam, and I had appeared for all of the three. It is because of their uh, sectional cutoff criteria. Now, what do I mean by that? It means XIMB has different cutoffs for the different exams, as well as different cutoffs for people of Orissa, people from out of Orissa, for females, males, engineers, non-engineers. Every single criteria needs to match for you to get a call. Now for me, I was a non-engineer female from outside Orissa and I even got the marks required in CAT. But one of my sectionals in CAT was a tad bit low, lower than the thing which was required by XIMB. So I actually did not get a call on the basis of my CAT marks. But I actually qualified my exact cutoffs and my XGMT cutoffs and they actually considered whichever one is highest. So I think they gave me a call on the basis of XGMT in which I got 97 percentile. So definitely check out your individual cutoffs which is easily available on the internet. Now before starting the video you guys already know I was giving one to one mentoring session for people who wants to self prepare and they want some advice how to prepare what books to read and things like that. So if you guys need my advice or my mentoring session reach out to me via DM or my mail which I'll be putting it up here and I will be very very happy to help you. So now let's actually start the video. My XIMB interview for the BM course was around 20 minutes. It was a shorter interview and there were three panel members. One of them were a female professor and two of them were male professors. For my convenience, I will be naming them Professor 1 ma'am and professor 2 for you to better understand. So my interview started with professor 1 asking me tell me something about yourself. Now I started talking about my school days, the stream which I had, why did I change it to BBA, what are my future plans. I explained everything in a very brief manner so you should not take a lot of time and I also talked about my extracurricular and what I am doing currently. So I talked about the RCI while explaining it and the professors were intrigued and they wanted to know more and so the second question was tell me something about the RCI, about the brand, what does it stand for, things like that. I explained that to them and then they asked me what does the RCI sell. I talked about my painting, my prints, candles and everything. Then they wanted to know what is the profit margin which I am acquiring. So the profit margins were different for the different products. So I explained the individual products and the profit margin and everything. Then they were interested in the costing and the logistic thing. Like they were they were really really uh, intrigued about okay so you are this is the cost price this is the selling price they really were interested in the business aspect of it and uh, i explained everything to them so this is a very interesting point that if you are talking about a particular thing you should know everything regarding it because the professors have been taking interviews for a long long time so they will be asking questions they will have enough knowledge to uh, speak upon it and ask questions so definitely do not lie like this was this can be my number one tip in interview do not lie be 100% honest and genuine then from my small business it shifted to youtube and uh, they actually opened my youtube channel and then they asked me okay how many videos do i have so i really did not know how many videos have i created till date but i roughly said sir i think around 40 but after the interview i checked it it was around 60 and right now it's around 75 so i just said a lower number to him but it's okay i guess then he wanted to know the click through rate of my channel uh, for some reason i had opened my youtube studios just a day prior to the interview so i definitely uh, knew the answer the correct answer for my channel and i said that and he also wanted to know the watch time and I said that too that my videos are generally 10 to 12 minutes long 
now i have started making longer videos but prior it was 10 to 12 minutes and people watch around 4 to 5 minutes mark so i was completely honest that uh, my retention rate is this much and i said that so the next question was in which specialization am i interested in you guys already know i am a marketing or an hr person and i said that so uh, the professor asked okay so suppose you take marketing here what do you think the skills are required for these kind of specialization so i said sir for someone who um, has taken marketing or hr uh, the person should be a people's person he should be very understanding good at communication that person should be very well accustomed to the environment he or she should be creative not biased uh, and also not affected by the environment and have the decisiveness to actually solve a problem then the next question was actually a bit abstract the professor asked me what are the chances which i think that i am on the right track till now so i did not know what to answer so i said sir from what i am judging myself i think i am on the right track because i am able to answer all of your questions which you have asked till now so uh, for this he replied that uh, i did not ask you any questions till now i was just interacting with you so i did not know what to say to this so i just kept quiet and after this uh, ma'am started questioning me so the first question which ma'am asked was what are the subjects which i had studied during bba i named a few of the subjects which i studied because i really did not have a specialization i did a general bba and then after that she asked name few topics from hr i named all of the chapters which i had studied during the semesters I had talked about leadership planning organizing and also SWOT. So ma'am said SWOT isn't that something which is a part of marketing because you know in marketing we do SWOT analysis of different companies. Uh so I said yes ma'am it is an integral part of marketing but we have also done it in uh HR because in HR we have been taught that we can do SWOT analysis on people also and I actually did it on myself so that I will be able to know myself better as a person I will able to find my own strengths and weakness and you can do it uh, for any other person also then ma'am said okay so you have learned about leadership so now explain leadership through the different examples uh, of the Russia and Ukraine crisis so this was a very tricky question because at that point of time i really did not know what to answer but i generally focused on the leadership style of putin and leadership style of zelensky and basically uh, kind of gave few examples from the real life scenarios but i did not know whether the answers were what she wanted to hear or not but yeah i said that then professors three started interviewing me and this was one of the most abstract part of my interview so the first question was what is swot i said it strength weakness opportunity threat now the second question was tricky that is do the swot analysis of putin so uh, again i i did not know every single point which i could say but i was not quite i said few things here and there but i did not know if it was 100% on point like all of the points were correct or not but i know few of the points were correct and few of the points were i don't know then he asked few technical theory based questions from marketing like from consumer behavior from targeting customer uh, brand loyalty and things like that which i was able to answer and after that uh, again another abstract question what is the probability that whatever i had said to him was right and i was getting selected so i went blank at this question but i really thought and my thought process was something like this we know that probability uh, can be from 0 to 1 uh it can lie anywhere between 0 to 1 but in this case since he asked what is the probability of a selection my selection it can only be a 50 50 chance which means i can either get selected or i can get rejected so i said sir it's a 50 50 probability and i would like to put my bet 
Since it's a probability, I would like to put my bet on the 50% where I am getting selected. After this question, the professors actually laughed. I think they all liked my answer and they asked few minor questions like what all calls do I have, where I am from and things like that. And then uh, they ended the interview and yeah, that was my PI experience. Now coming to the overall experience, this was a very shorter interview for me and if I had to rate this interview on a scale of 1 to 10 where 1 being a very easy friendly interview and 10 being a very strict interview this will be somewhere 6.5 or 7 and uh, I enjoyed the interview to be honest but for anyone who is applying for XIMB, please be careful regarding the sectional cutoffs for your category because I really did not know they had specific cutoffs before applying and I just randomly applied to this college. I actually converted this college. I got the calls few weeks after giving the interview. So I'm very happy about it. And yeah it is it for today in case you need that one-to-one -one mentoring session do reach out to me and i will see you guys in my next video till then bye